Today, I want to talk about why Arabian horses are endurance superstars. What makes them so special? And Pippa here is going to help me. Right, girl? <laughs> so let's get right into it. I'm going to be going out west to the Tevis Cup, the biggest and most difficult endurance ride in the whole country and probably in the world in about two weeks. And before that ride, I wanted to talk about what it is about Arabians that make them so suited to the sport of endurance and why so many endurance riders choose them for their mount. Arabian horses are known the world over for their grace and for their beauty. The Arabian horse comes out of the Middle East. We can date them back. They are the oldest horse breed in the world. We date them back three to 5,000 years. We place them with the Bedouin tribes in the Arabian Peninsula, which is today part of the Middle East. Bedouin tribes were nomadic people that traveled throughout the desert, and they needed horses that were able to survive in those very rugged and very difficult desert conditions. The heat, the cold at night, the lack of water, and the ruggedness of the desert in general, and, they, and that were able to travel for miles and miles. And that's what an Arabian horses can do. Arabians have short backs and they're short coupled. So the short back and short coupling that you see in Arabians isn't just something that they look like they have a shorter body, they actually have one less pair of ribs. They have uh, 17 pairs of ribs as opposed to 18. They have five lumbar ver uh, vertebrae as opposed to six. But that high tail carriage, partly the reason that they have that is because they have one less tail vertebrae as well. So it just makes them actually, their conformation suits them very well to endurance. The dished face of the Arabian is very finely chiseled face. This wide forehead is dished and it comes down to a narrow, <laughs> a narrow muzzle and large, large nostrils. And this is partly, partly helps them to intake air. The Arabian horse's size is also uh, helps make them great for endurance. They're typically fairly small. They are 14 one hands to 15 two or 15 one hands. Pippa is 15 hands, which is actually pretty tall for a Arabian mare. They're a lighter breed. They are way in the range of 800 to 1,000 pounds. The muscle fibers that they have is called slow twitch. They have a predominance of slow twitch muscle fibers. Slow twitch muscle fibers, which Arabians have a predominance of, are fatigue resistant. They are more efficient at using oxygen to generate fuel for continuous extended muscle contractions. They fire more slowly than fast twitch fibers and they can go for a long time before they fatigue which is another reason that they are such endurance superstars. One of the characteristics of Arabians that helps them in endurance is their ability to cool down quickly. And this is made possible by their small size and so forth, by their lean muscle mass. Uh, but it's also made possible because they do have black skin, which helps them with the sun and deflecting the sun. This is a characteristic from thousands of years ago in the desert. Uh, and no matter what their coat color is, the skin is black except for where they have solely white hair like Pippa has her blaze that's all white there under that section she has pink skin everywhere else it's black so that skin color helps her with the sun and I think is partly what helps them deflect the heat cool off quickly and they dissipate heat quickly because of their small size these are the main reasons that Arabians are the prime horse of choice for endurance riders. I'm going to link below information on the Arabian Horse Association, on the Tevis Cup organization and the American Endurance Riders Conference. These are all places that you can reach out to to get more information about Arabian horses and also more information about the sport of endurance. Please leave any comments or questions you have below. Uh, be on the lookout for Tevis Cup videos that are coming. We're heading out west in two weeks. So you'll want to subscribe to the channel, hit notifications so you don't miss future videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.